Hey all, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to my best eBay sales for the month of September 2021. Didn't have a lot of sales, but I'm very happy with what did sell and for what it sold for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. So the first good sale that happened this month was this really awesome Carlton Cards Heirloom Collection Partridge Family Ornament. What it does is it it's an ornament, obviously, and you push the door of the bus and it plays the Partridge Family theme song. And these ornaments, if you can find them, the Carlton Card Heirloom ornaments, some of them do really, really well. I've sold a one where Dean Martin is on a stage and I think he's singing. Oh boy, it's been so long since I sold that. I don't even remember what he was singing. But anyway, that one sold for really good money. I paid only about five bucks for this, and I sold it for $71.50. So that was a really, really good pickup. This was something that I bought probably within the last month and a half. I hadn't been to this antique mall in a long time, so I'm sure a lot has changed. So I'm looking forward to going there. So this is a light fixture i think it's painted aluminum or pot metal is what my dad said it was and i described it as medieval because it looks like something that would go into like a dungeon or like a castle of some sort just looking at it it's very deco very geometric it did have some issues but i mean it's over a hundred years old so i paid only five dollars for it and i sold it for a best offer of one hundred dollars i love buying old lighting and sconces and things like that because people are always looking to restore older homes with original hardware and original lighting so don't just i was gonna say i should say don't exclude this from things that you look for when you're out because this stuff is really hot bought this cute little guy here for a dollar at an indoor flea market and I sold him for, I think it was $22.50 was the offer that I was given. And I accepted it. So I was happy with that. Keep your eye out for the boy birthday angels. They tend to do better than the girls. So I was happy to find that little guy. Picked this guy up for about $30. It's a Sony Walkman. It's brand new in the packaging. And I... Yeah, like I said, I paid about 30 and I sold it for a best offer of $189.99, and that actually went overseas. Picked these up at an antique mall. I paid $250 for the six of them, and I sold them for $24.99 with buyer paying shipping. If you don't know what these are, these are McKee Glass Bake um, Deviled Crab Baking Shells. You put your crab meat in here, stick them in the oven, and bake the crab meat and then you eat out of them. I've sold these many times. If I can get them cheap enough, I will buy them because I know I can sell them. So this is something that completely shocked me. Uh, this is a Mason's Ironstone Christmas Village Ramkin. I was just carousing a Goodwill and I just spotted it and something about it to me just said, you know, this looks really interesting. Why don't you look it up? Here's the marking on it, by the way. And I looked it up, and some of the pieces were going for really good money. So I guess this must be a very collectible line. And a lot of the listings were for um, were actually over in England. So maybe this just came over with someone from England, and then you know things happen, or you know whatever the case may be. It ended up at the Goodwill I was at. And I paid only 99 cents for it, and I actually sold this ramkin for what you see right here, $29.99. This ramkin, this one dish, I sold for $30. And what was nice about it is I could get it to go in a first class, like a, a small, like six by six by six box, and was able to send it first class so somebody didn't have to pay a whole lot of money to get that shipped to them. But yeah, keep your eyes out for that line. Mason's 
Christmas Village Iron Stone. Some of that those pieces go for pretty darn good money. Another thing you should be on the lookout for are products that are not available anymore for people, like these Gillette Sensor Excel razors for women. I paid about $375 for these. I did list them for about $50. And because I invested so little into them, I took the $29 best offer without hesitation. Now this is something out of my personal collection. If you all don't know, I collect the old Coke serving trays going from 1900 up to about 1950. 57 is the latest I go with those. And, you know, condition is everything. I think I paid about $8 for this one a long time ago here on the Bay. And, you know, I sold it for a fair price because it is not perfect. I think I had it up for maybe 55 or something like that. And then I took a best offer of 45 because as you can see, it does have some issues. But you know what? A collector, hopefully, who doesn't have this one with them is able to put it in their collection until they can get one in better shape. And yeah, it works out for all of us. I paid very little and I made a really decent profit on it. Again, always look at the beauty products, the hair products, whatever you can see in the thrift stores and in the antique stores and the peddler malls, because you just don't know what you're going to find. And this is one of those things. This is by Nexus. If you all know, that stuff is pretty expensive to begin with, Nexus brand stuff. But I'd never seen oil infinite nourishing oil before. So I saw that it was pretty much full. I paid only a dollar for it and I sold it for full asking price of $39.99. I did have it up for 50, but sometimes what I do is if I have things that are sitting, I'll drop them maybe $10 or maybe even $5. And I've had sales happen that way. If you have watchers on stuff and you drop the price down a little bit, I've had people claim them almost instantly. Not all the time, but it does happen. So I was very, very happy with that one. And the last thing that I would like to share with you all that sold for pretty decent money is this 20s, 30s painted brass flush mount light fixture. I did pay about, what was it, like $11 for this at an antique store. And I did sell it for $30, so I made $19 on it, which is good. And originally, I was going to take it down, take the listing down, that is, and put it in a box of stuff that I have to go to auction because I just some things I buy when I'm out like if I'm in a buying mood I buy, I get swooped up in the moment and I buy things that I'm either like a something that I just shouldn't and then I bring it home and then I unwrap everything and I'm like why did I do that as we all do but yeah so this was something I was going to take down and then I had someone message me they asked me a few questions about it I did what I could on my part with those questions I answered them and then, you know, someone just bought it. They paid the full price of 30 bucks. So that was a really good turn of events there. So those are my best sales for the month. Let me know down below, what, do you, what was your favorite item that I sold? And what have you been selling on eBay? I'd love to know. So that's all I have for you today. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure and click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to get notified when new videos are uploaded. Be sure and check me out on Instagram, the link to it is down below as well, where you will see pictures of items to come in future haul videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye guys!